So good morning, everyone. This is Brad Freeman. I am the services specialist with Reynolds in the North Texas Territory uh, and are here to talk about today skill development. Specifically, I'm going to take a few minutes to go through the Rockwell Certificate Program and some of the options that we have available to our customers. Now, before we kick off uh, announcements, really just one, which is Automation Fair. Uh, we are less than two months away from the event now. Uh, it will be November 16th and 17th in Chicago this year. If you have not already, please go talk to your Reynolds account manager. They will have details on how to sign up uh, on a travel and hotel package that we have available and can help you look through the different options on uh, sessions and labs and such, and um, just make sure that you are getting the most out of that event. So I was given a, um, I'm not sure if it was intended as a compliment or not, but I was, uh, I was told the other day that one of my better qualities was how short my presentations often were in some of our internal sales meetings. So I'm going to try to take that spirit in today's um, topic. The certificate program is pretty straightforward, but I wanted to make sure that we had um, this information put out there in a better format. So we're doing the webinar this morning. This will be recorded and up on the YouTube page. I'm thinking this might be about 10 minutes long where uh, anyone who's interested can just go ahead, hit play on YouTube, listen to that, see what the options are and know what classes to go take. So the Rockwell Certificate Program is part of, um, part of the training offering we have overall. So I help manage our training calendar in North Texas. Uh, my counterparts help manage it in the San Antonio area, in our Gulf Coast area, in Houston, Louisiana, et cetera. So we always have classes happening live in person with an instructor at our offices. And then there is always the availability of e-learning. E-learning courses through Rockwell are on-demand, self-paced, self-guided, so you can pop in and take classes whenever you have the availability. Each of these um, certificates are then, we'll call them pathways through all of the available classes. It says if you take these four classes and then go take a test, we're giving you a stamp of approval. Now, something I also want to note is um, when we really get into the weeds of uh, industrial certifications versus certificates, there are some distinct differences between those two words. So the certificate program is that. It is a certificate of achievement saying that you've gone through these classes and then passed the test. Um, it doesn't have the same, I'll say, depth as a certification. Uh, because that implies a, a lot of times that is something that's involved with a particular industry, there's a licensing requirement, there's a lot of extra things there. Um, so I just want to note that up front before we go further. Now, once you take the classes, all of the assessments are web-based. And then, like I said, you get that certificate of achievement. Uh, what I'll be doing today is just running through how do you access the classes to take this? And then I'm gonna look at each of the available certificates very briefly. Please feel free to reach out to me, to any of the other uh, training personnel that we have here at Reynolds uh, if you have further questions after today. So, like I said, we have in-person classes, we have e-learning classes. Um, as of about two years ago now, all of the certificates, you can achieve those through any mix of in-person or e-learning. So if you want to come into our offices and sit down and have somebody in front of you teaching and have hardware in front of you that you can have your hands on, you can absolutely do that. If you learn well in the e-learning format and you want to just focus that so that you can um, pick up the skill set more quickly, um, pick up the skill set, you know, just in a higher access way where you can be doing this um, just as you have breaks through your workday or nights or weekends or however you want to do that, that's absolutely an option as well. We have uh, about 
eight or nine different certificates. I will mention each of these briefly here, and then we'll, we'll dig into each of these one at a time. On the control logic side of things, we have three. We have a maintenance or maintainer certificate, and then we have a programming or programmer level one certificate. Those are the two most common. We are running the classes for those nearly constantly. There's always something on the schedule for the live in person. And then both of those can be achieved through e-learning uh, entirely as well. Now the advanced logics programmer certificate, that is an in-person only one. So that's another step beyond that first level of programmer. We're running those every year or two at this point. So that's a, um, a little bit harder as just as far as the scheduling goes. So if you're interested in that, again, please reach out to us. Then uh, on the drive side, we have a certificate that focuses just on the PowerFlex 750 family. And then we have four different variations of motion control the 5700 family, and then the 6000 slash 6500, um, both maintenance and programming for each of those. So one at a time, the Logics Maintainer Certificate, this is the one that, uh, at least in North Texas, the majority of people who get a certificate are getting this particular one. There are two pathways available for this certificate. The first is what is known as the traditional pathway, where you take four classes in a row and then go take your exam. Those four classes are a two day system, control logic system fundamentals class, two days of basic ladder logic interpretation, and then four days of control logics maintenance and troubleshooting. So realistically, that could be done in two weeks in person, or all three of those classes are available as e-learning. About three years ago, a accelerated version of this class was released. So this starts out where you need to take a prerequisite. It can be the two-day system fundamentals class that's on the traditional pathway. Uh, there is a week-long Control Logics Fundamentals and Troubleshooting class. That is the most common class we run. So a lot of those I'm thinking who are listening either to this webinar or the YouTube recording later might be people who have already taken that class. That serves as the prerequisite, and then you can come right into one of those in-person accelerated classes. So it's a five-day class that takes a lot of the information contained in the traditional classes, the ladder logic interpretation, the maintenance and troubleshooting, combines that into one week-long class, and then you roll right into the exam after that. So again, same certificate either way, but two pathways. Take four classes individually, mix them between in-person and online, or take the accelerated class in person. Very similar is the logics programming level one. There is a four class traditional pathway. It starts out with the same class, control logic system fundamentals. Now the ladder logics class is ladder logic programming ladder, rather than ladder logic interpretation. So there's a little bit of a different focus there. And then your four day class is project development rather than maintenance and troubleshooting. So this is focused on um, developing and installing and starting up a brand new system rather than keeping a existing installation running. Uh, then there's one elective beyond that. At the same time when they launched the accelerated maintenance class, we also launched an accelerated programming class. So the exact same requirements on this one. If you've already taken our week long control logics, fundamentals and troubleshooting class, you can roll right into this accelerated one. Or if you want to take one of the e-learning classes as your prerequisite, that's something that you can definitely do as well. So this programming level one and the maintenance certificate, both of those very similar pathways as far as the requirements, but then the actual content of the courses are focused differently. Our third logics certificate is the advanced logics programming or advanced logics programmer certificate. This is one that I've known it's existed for a few years, um, and we are running our first session in January 2023. So we're looking about two and a half months out from the live date of this webinar. Um, that'll be in the DFW area. Now, um, if you're in 
one of our other areas, you can um, certainly travel up to this area. That would not be a problem. We'd love to have you at the class, or you can talk to one of my counterparts at the other locations. So that class is a little bit shorter. It's a four-day class, and the prerequisite is that first certificate. So it is directly building off of that first pathway. Again, you can have taken that first certificate through e-learning or in person, either way, but then this class only exists in an in-person format. Uh, it's not one that has been adapted to the e-learning as of yet. The PowerFlex 750 series certificate, this is one that I've seen uh, less individuals um, working on, although as I was preparing um, the slide deck for this morning, uh, it really got me thinking that there are four classes required for this, two electives, so any drives, medium voltage, motion class, so just attendance at any of those two, again, e-learning or um, live and in person, but then the two defined classes are the configuration and startup and then the maintenance and troubleshooting classes. Each of those is two days long. Um, almost exclusively when we are running these classes, we run them back to back within the same week. So Tuesday through Friday in one week, live and in person, these classes are running. So most of our customers who have come have already taken both of the classes and therefore you're already halfway to this certificate. So um, if you are looking at taking these classes, I know we have three different sessions of these coming up at our Odessa offices in um, throughout this fall. Let's talk afterwards and we can look at getting um, some electives identified for you so that we can get that official certificate to you. Now, Lastly is the motion control or our kinetics family of products, the certificates that are related to those product families. In my uh, two and a half plus years at Reynolds, I don't believe I've seen a single person take this certificate. So I'm not gonna speak to it in depth. If it's something that you're really interested in, reach out to me and, and we can figure out um, what we need to do to get you uh, scheduled in the, in the classes as well, especially if we're looking at in-person classes, our motion control are fairly hit and miss. Um, having enough students to run, run a class always seems to be an issue. So please reach out to me if you're interested. We can look at the e-learning versus in-person option and, and come up with a good solution for you. Uh, I'll just say briefly, we've got a programming focused certificate and we've got a maintenance focused certificate. And then it splits it into two different uh, sections of the product families, the 5,700, as well as the 6,000 or 6,500. Um, and then once you finish that curriculum, as is the same with all the certificates we've talked about today, you reach out to us, say you're ready. Uh, we'll give you a quote for the exam. And then the exam is online. It is timed and it is multiple choice. Uh, beyond that, we aren't given much detail on the exam. Um, I think just so you don't over prepare for the exam, we would rather have you learning the products themselves than um, falling into that mode of, of just focusing on what we think the exam is going to be like. So I promised a quick presentation today. Uh, that is the end of my quick recap on what we have available for certificates. Like I said, please reach out to me, please reach out to the other uh, training coordinators that we have in different areas in Reynolds. And um, I'll also pause here for those live on the webinar to see if there are any questions today.